Hello, and thanks for watching. You know, I've never met an accountant that doesn't just love to do reconciliations. Yeah, right. So, if you've got to do them, you might as well have some fun while you're doing it. That's why I built this tool and mini dashboard that reconciles between two data sets and presents a data table of differences between them. The tool is built in Excel using Excel Visual Basic for Applications. Later, I'll show the mechanics of creating this reconciliation, but let's walk through the functionality first. There's only one button at the top left, and the reconciliation summary and difference tables both update after the reconciliation runs. You can see the results from the last time I ran the tool on the screen. It'll work with up to 300,000 rows. Incidentally, I should mention, the data I'm using is randomly generated payroll time card data and is not intended to represent real people at all. This thing has four tabs. The way it works is when I switch to data set one tab, this is data set one. There's, it reconciles between two data sets. So there's a tab for set one and a tab for set two. And all you do is clear the previous data and copy and paste the new data in. Note that the data I'm working with is very clean. The cleanliness of your data can be a whole separate issue. It's not covered in this video, but it certainly is a whole separate issue. This is very clean data, just for demonstration purposes. So, formulas at the top do show the record count and the total number of hours. Now, because I've built this thing, I do know, and run it 50,000 times, frankly, I know that it's got about 4,000 records in each tab and that there's just under 160,000 rows or hours in each tab also. So there's small differences between each tab. But what if I, say, just went in and changed this to 32 hours and maybe went down a little bit and I'll delete a row let me scroll down a little bit more and I'll delete, say, a few more rows. Now, I'll switch back to the Report tab, run it. You can see it took three seconds. The differences are now 553.5 hours. And you can see the reconciliation summary there, kind of the center right of the screen. And the bridge is down here below. So if you wanted to see, say, Let's just take a peek at what's not in data set one. There's your 166 people that, as you can see, there's nothing for data set one. It's null, but they're in data set two with these amounts. And so there's your 166. If you wanted to say the opposite side of the recon, here's your 248.5 hours that are in data set one and not in data set two. So what if we were to just go in and I'll go back to data set two and let's just delete some and run it once more. And you can see that now the difference is 688.5. So it works no matter the length of the data set up to 300,000 rows. But um, honestly, uh, reconciliation is indication that something is wrong with the data and in a lot of cases the root cause would need to be looked into as fun as this was to make. Now let's dive a little bit into exactly how this thing works. The first thing the macro does is insert two temporary tabs called Recon and Pivot. The two data sets are then copied onto the Recon tab one on top of another However, they're separated by column A where the source is identified. So the top rows 2 through 4,000 are from data set 1. Rows 4,000 through the end of the file are from data set 2. And you can see the break there uh, just below row 4,000. Next, the combined data set is pivoted on the other temporary tab called pivot. And so if you set the pivot table up correctly, and that is with the individual employee data as the row, the column as the source, and the hours as the values, the differences become visually apparent. And actually you can see one down there near the bottom where data set two is null. And so to quickly identify the differences, because the data set's pretty large, we just copy paste value the pivot table 
insert a simple formula there next to it and then the code simply loops through and deletes where the column F is a zero and we can see a few examples there that would wind up as part of the reconciliation. So that's how it works. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I had a blast making it. Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah.